Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I'm Patrice. Please be sure to look at the other content. And if you enjoy that content, please be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel. In addition, we have a Facebook group called Craftable Things. We would love to have you there with us as well. For my returning subscribers, welcome back, y'all. So, as y'all know, with sublimation, it is kind of difficult or not even difficult. It's next to impossible to directly sub onto a black shirt, a dark green shirt, a dark blue shirt, and definitely cotton. Now sometimes we can be a little bit fooled because you can get ink to adhere to cotton. However, it may be a little bit faded. It will not be vibrant as it is with polyester. And also, once you wash it, that ink is going to fade off right away. Okay, so sublimation adheres to polyester. Okay, so you always want to have at least a 65% polyester count in your fabrics. All right, so that's what we'll be talking about today because Caesar has a product called Easy Subly and it allows us to sub onto dark color shirts or cotton shirts. With the Easy Subly, they have Easy Subly and they have the Easy Subly Mask. The Easy Subly is what goes onto the shirt. The Easy Subly Mask is what you would use, kind of like we use, how we use transfer tape. When we're transferring vinyl over to the blank, that is how the mask works. works. So if you get the mask and not the Easy Subly, it's pointless in having it. Now you can have the Easy Subly without the mask, okay? Because if you if you can if you have another product where you can transfer it to, or transfer it with, or I usually sometimes just peel it. All right. So a few months ago, I did a video about Easy Subly. However, in that video, I printed directly onto the Easy Subly for my Epson Eco Tank 15,000. Now, all the printers are not capable of printing directly onto the Easy Subly. Please keep in mind that the Easy Subly was specifically made for sawgrass printers. Okay, so with our Epsons, for those of you who may have Epsons, it may not always work with you printing directly onto it. So what you have to do is what we are going to do today, we are going to print onto our sublimation paper and today I will be using dynamic ink which you can find that inside of my Etsy shop and I will also be using honestly speaking sublimation paper all right so we are going to print directly onto the paper the sublimation paper and then we are going to cut our easy subly out with our Cricut because we want a nice outline around the image okay we don't want it to really look like it's just a piece of vinyl onto the shirt so we're going to cut it with the Cricut and then we are going to press it so easy subly is similar to iron on or HTV heat transfer vinyl however it is not the same okay because it's specifically made for sublimation it's specifically made to be able to take the heat of the sublimation process okay and so that ink will adhere to easy subly it does not work with all HTV or vinyl. So if that's a question, you're like, oh, well, if this is just like vinyl, then I can go and get me any white vinyl and sub directly onto it. You cannot. Do not waste your money. There are other things that you could use. You could use uh, glitter HTV. You could use, there's a Caesar Glow in the Dark HTV that also works with sublimation. And I just started using this new product, which I will feature that product in another video called Sublimate. And I have been able to sub onto that product and have it nicely onto a shirt. All right, so that's it. I think I've kind of covered everything. Now we are about to sub onto this dark shirt. All right, so let's get started.
Now we are in Adobe Illustrator and I will be importing the file that we will be using today. I purchased this image from designbundles.net. It was a part of a bundle for autism awareness. All right, and so it's here. And as you can see, we are using an eight and a half by 11. And we need to use that because I my Easy Subly is that size. They do have Easy Subly that is larger than that size. However, I only have the eight and a half by 11 on hand right now. So I am going to make this flower about eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And so I'm going to make it like that now. That's the size that I want. However, when you get ready to cut this and let's say we transport this over to Cricut and you get ready to cut it, you are your size is not going to be equal because right now this is measuring even the white space around the sunflower. And so when it goes into Cricut and we remove the background, it's naturally going to be smaller. So you may want to go in Cricut and say you want this to be eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter when you cut it. However, it's not going to match up because right now this software is registering the white as part of the actual image. Okay. But when you go into Cricut, this white and you clear out the background, you will not have that white. So it will only be measuring the actual sunflower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an image trace, high fidelity photo, because I don't want my colors to change. And this is going to allow me to kind of isolate the sunflower away from the background. And then you all will notice the difference of when we do this, how it removes it and it actually makes it the actual size of the sunflower. I'm going to hit expand. I want to ungroup all of that because I really want to get rid of this white block. So now you guys see this white block and this is what I need to delete because I only want the sunflower. So I am going to select all of this now and then I'm going to group it together. And as you guys can see, the lines are right here touching the sunflower. So now I know that when I transport this into Cricut and I change the sizes of or the, I change the size of the sunflower, it will match. Okay, so now I am definitely going to change this to 8.25 by 8.25. And a quarter. All right, guys, so I'm going to get ready to print this, and I am printing from my Epson EcoTank 2750, and I want this to be eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to go to page setup and select my printer. And then I will then select borderless printing and then okay. And then for the setup, I am going to go to print settings and I need to just select mirror image. I will be mirroring the image in Adobe when I print. However, when I am printing or cutting from the Cricut, I am not going to mirror the cut image. Okay. And so I just want minimum expansion. And as you see, I'm using the plain paper setting and I need to change that to quality for sure. I'm going to go to color options and advanced settings. I am going to change this to Adobe RGB and I'm leaving it at a 2.2 gamma and I'm ready to print. All right, so while that is printing, I am going to save this file as a PNG file. And this is how I'm going to get it to cut inside of Cricut. 
Okay, so I am going to export this file and export it as a PNG and I'm just going to name it AUT. Okay, y'all, so now we're inside of Cricut Design Space and what I need to do now is upload that sunflower into the Cricut Design Space software so that we can cut it. So I'm going to click upload and we are going to upload our image and here is our image right here and this is what we saved this is what it looks like and we don't need to remove any of the background or anything it should be just fine and I'm going to click continue and we are going to save this as a cut image, not a print then cut. And we will upload. Now there is a way if you were doing print then cut, you could definitely save it as a print then cut. And then while you are inside of the program, um, if you're going to be using the easy subly and sublimation paper, you would just duplicate the file and then make one of those a cut only file. So we are going to click onto our sunflower. And as y'all see, this sunflower is huge. We do not need it to be that big. So I am just going to adjust the size here. And we're doing eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And this will cut the exact same size as the image we printed from Adobe Illustrator. Okay. That is why we, it was important for us to remove the background, even though it, it seemed like a transparent picture. It was really, it, it really wasn't. Okay. So I am going to get ready to click make it. And we will not be mirroring the image. Okay, even though we are printing on something similar to HTV, we will not be mirroring that image and we will get ready to make it. All right, guys, so now we are at the Cricut Maker and I'm going to get ready to place our Easy Subly onto our cutting mat. I'm using the standard grip mat, however, the light grip mat works just as well all right and the easy subly sheet that i am using it is an eight and a half by eleven so that's as large as i'm going to make my cut okay i'm cutting this on the everyday vinyl setting and I am not mirroring the image. And when you place your Easy Subly onto the mat, you want the shiny side to go onto the mat. Okay, you want the mat side to be facing you because the mat side is what is going to be sublimated. All right, so you want this to be facing you. But since we're doing it this way, we do not need to mirror any of these images because we're going to be peeling it off of the back. Alright guys, so we're all done with this cut. I am simply going to just weed from around the, the cut, the image, okay? So I'm going to let you guys see that. So I'm just going to weed it and then you guys will just see how easy it is to pull from around this easy subway. See, you can just keep going. And if you are doing it where you have the Easy Subly mask, once you get to this point and you start weeding your image, all you will do then is place your Easy Subly mask on top and then you will peel it away from the backing, okay? And then you will place it and just press it as normal. 
so my image is printed out and the image is cut out and I do want to show you guys I'm just going to make sure that this is the same size or at least very close to it so I'm going to try to match them up and matching them up it does look like we are right there with the sizing it's really really good and I just have a little piece right here that is not taking um, that will not be onto the, the shirt because when I printed this I did borderless printing and borderless printing sometimes changes the size a little bit of your your images but I had to do borderless printing because I wanted this to be as large as I could make it on the eight and a half by eleven because I knew the easy subly was an eight and a half by eleven so that is why but other than that guys this cut out pretty almost perfectly all right so I am going to cut this out now you could not do this in print then cut with the Cricut because this is larger than the dimensions allow in Cricut so I am just going to cut this out myself and I will then put this on the shirt and then press it all right so let me let me start cutting Okay, so now we're at the heat press and we definitely want to make sure we lint roll our shirt because even though this is not a white shirt, uh, we still have little particles on the shirt and you don't want that to be under your easy subly, okay? So we are just going to lint roll it and then I'm going to press it for about five seconds. So the recommended settings for Easy Subly is about 310 degrees and you should press it for about 10 to 15 seconds. I'm not going to be following those instructions on this press. We will be doing something different because that is usually for when you are printing directly on the Easy Subly and then pressing. For this one we will be pressing the Easy Subly and then we will be pressing the image. Now I am going to peel this off. If you have the Easy Subly mask, you can just, it's so much easier just putting the Easy Subly mask on top and peeling it off that way and then you press onto the shirt. I will not be doing that because I am out of Easy Subly mask and if you are trying to purchase Easy Subly, you know that it is kind of difficult to get your hands on. Alright guys, so the Easy Subly is on and I am just going to press this for about 10 seconds so that it can stick to the shirt. I guess so I only pressed that for about 10 seconds and my heat press is set to 365 degrees. That is what I will be pressing um, the image with 365 for 40 seconds. I'm using honestly speaking sublimation paper and with that paper the ink release is pretty quick. So we don't have to do our regular heavy pressing. So I'm going to get ready to match up the, the image and the easy subly. Hopefully I didn't cut too much. And then I'm going to tape it down. It looks pretty good. Alright okay, guys, so with this paper you don't have to put butcher paper, but I am going to put a little bit of butcher paper just because I'm using the Easy Subly also. This paper does not have a release on the back side of the paper. All of the ink stays onto either the shirt or whatever it is that you're pressing. All right, so we are going to press this for 40 seconds and let's see how it goes. All right, y'all, let's see how this went. And I am going to get ready to remove our image. Mmm, guys. Very, very nice. You see a little bit of white that I don't like, but I think 
it came out pretty good and look how those colors are popping on this shirt I am probably gonna put a little bit of HTV onto the shirt just to make it like maybe put a statement on there for autism awareness month but look y'all all right y'all so we are all done subbing onto the easy subway and pressing onto our shirt and it looks amazing i am going to put some htv i'm probably going to put a few sayings i might even just make this shirt into like one of my class shirts and put my students names on this shirt but i love it and you can easily do that with htv now it's usually better if you're going to mix htv and sublimation together it's better to sub first and then press your HTV or iron on vinyl onto the shirt because the temperature of the HTV, the, the requirement or the required temperature for the HTV is never usually over 320 degrees and that does not activate the sublimation ink. Okay, so it's always better to sub first then use HTV um, because it, it just works better. You don't want to try to press your vinyl your HTV first and then sub because that 400 degrees if you're subbing at 400 degrees that is going to melt your HTV all right but I love this this image and I love this shirt and easy subly you can definitely get good results with easy subly it is very light as you guys if you have seen my other easy subly video it's very very light you can't really feel it. it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel heavy like that glitter and it definitely is not as stiff as some of the HTV is all right but it looks good and this black center right here really makes it look like this is a part of the shirt and I think that's what I love the most all right all right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Join us on Facebook, Craftable Things. We would love to have you there as well. But that's it for today, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.